And here we go, our loose sequel for iOS 11 Tips and Tricks is here, this time for iPad. Welcome to IT Danny video channel and stick with me because today I got another set of exquisite features of this new operating system. I know I'm using a lot of superlatives in my videos, but check this awesomeness. Uh, this is my iPhone with my regular Apple ID and this iPad is freshly out of the box. Now we can proceed with automatic setup process instead of manual step-by-step -step initial setup. Just put your new iOS 11 device next to the one already in use and behold. Back in the medieval times, so basically in 20th century, <laughs> I might be crucified due to this black magic. All I said to go just by pointing camera to this Apple Mist. I have to proceed with some device related basics like Touch ID, Screen Passcode, but the core services like Apple ID, Wi-Fi connection, contacts, notes, reminders and settings are in place already. Quite sweet deal, right? Here just proving that the same Apple ID is on both devices and Wi-Fi connection is established on both machines as well. Well and future sampling is not simply over yet. Here is another iOS 11 device, iPhone SE. On this one I have different Apple ID. Let's place the newly arrived iPhone next to already Wi-Fi connected iPad and just say the black magic formula. For example, Mingadim Leviosa. Agree with Wi-Fi connection sharing and done. No need to type the Wi-Fi password to SE. Both machines have in common just saved Apple IDs in contacts. Nothing else is known to each other. So typical friend-to-friend -friend visit for example. Another awesomeness, handoff. Same Apple ID on iPad and iPhone. Switching between machines like MBD. You see, I open Safari on iPhone and iPad right away offers me this handoff Safari session. Cannot be easier. But of course, iPad and this new improved dock. You see, I switch from Safari to Clock app by sliding a bit my finger from the bottom to the top. However, if I slide all the way to the top, I get to the control center. This way, I can force close the apps, but check this out. While running the Safari, I can reveal dock and by pressing and holding another app, clock in my case, I can have both windows open. This is called slide over and imagine chat window instead of the clock app, right? And another marvelous split screen. Nothing to say really, just awesome feature we've been waiting for. And on this one, I will show you how similar is control center on iPad and iPhone. Press and hold the buttons to expose advanced mode. For example, the brightness slider hides within itself nightshade it mode on both devices, yet iPad offers also through tone switch. And as I did on previous video, I highly recommend to customize your control center so you can keep your screens quite clean and operating iOS machines from this control center actually. Next tip is persistent notification. That's a new way how the device can inform you about important notifications. I just switch it on for message app, so when I receive new message, this notification will stay visible until new message overrides it or until I interact with it. With these settings, you will not miss a thing. Alrighty, how about new storage features? Earthshake happens here too, but a good way. First, you can easily determine what taking the most of the space. Apps, photos, outlook, you name it. Then the offload unused apps option, which delete rarely or never used apps but keeps their settings and data, still able to save some storage. Now you can also find out which attachments take in the most of the storage, as well as apps nicely ordered from the biggest. This tip is slightly related to our prequel, where we drag and copy the data within the notes. Similarly, you can do it now with the files as well. You see, my first folder is empty, and in the second folder I have keynote presentation. Now by pressing and holding this presentation by one finger, I navigate with my other one back to root and drop in the file to the first folder. Next step is aim towards maps application. From now on, you're able to see building levels and floor plans. This can be extremely useful on airports and malls and more building will follow up soon. Here, as you can see, I can find very easily the shortest path from security check to the toilets on level 2 on Mineta San Jose airport. And this new feature of maps, flyover, does it even need explanation? I mean, I showed already quite something, I believe, but this, I love it. 
Look how easy I can explore New York. And naturally, I am free to zoom in and out. Very, very cool. Alright, how about to scan the document to notes? Here, as you can see, the camera already recognized in the paper. I press the scan button and now I can easily process the scan by changing color settings for better view and, of course, the markups. Highlighting important parts and done. Cool, but how about less visible stuff? Inbuilt iOS video player for embedded videos. Here, I started one of my videos on web and behold, basics are still the same. Full screen, position pointer, sound controller and skipper, but now the keyboard shortcuts. Just press and hold command button to reveal the shortcuts. Space for pause and play and command plus arrow for rewind for example. And this small in-screen video, great for multitasking. And the 11th tip, keyboard shortcuts by themselves. First, the on-screen keyboard. Check out the swipe function. Whenever you would like to type a grayed out letter, number or sign, simply swipe down on such a key and here we go. Very effective and someone has been really thinking about this. Second, the attachable keyboard shortcuts. Basically, in any app, just press and hold the command key as I showed before. You will get all available shortcuts for a specific app. Command plus B for bold letters. Command plus H for home screen. Command plus tab for let you to switch between running apps. And the obvious, command plus space for spotlight search. Oh yeah! And here is our bonus tip for iOS 11. Hey Siri. Have to say, I would like to get a pizza in Italian. In Italian, I would like to get a pizza is. Vorrei una pizza. Well, and a new feature of iOS 11 is also you can type to Siri now. So, you just cross the borders. Let's say it in German. Ich hätte gern eine pizza. Hell yeah, this is awesome. Alrighty, as you can see in this and previous iPhone video, iOS 11 extends what Apple stands for. Uh, Athlon of software and hardware. Anyways, I'm done, so don't forget to check out our sticker pack for mom. And keep in mind, Christmas is coming soon. Treat yourself and keep calm. Ten is out. Thank you guys for watching the video and I hope you like these tips as much as I do. Like or dislike the video and yeah, subscribe to our channel please. Peace in your heart and see you around.